title the natural and the supernatural amen oh i said the natural and the supernatural amen. you see in life there are two things the natural and the supernatural but the supernatural always surpasses the natural but this morning i want to break something down and when you get this you will not struggle anymore listen when you get the message i'm about to give you from today you will not worry about anything anymore amen, amen. let's take our bibles to the book of first samuel 17. I carry you pray F. Yes. I'm gonna go try F. If you are there, say amen. If you are not there, say amen. If the Bible is not for you, say amen. If the Bible is for the church, say amen. Please, you can look on your phone. Like, like I said, in this house, you can look on the Bible in your phone. No Facebook, no WhatsApp. Amen. One Samuel. No, Manka Samuel, Ninti. I want it. This time, to me, my changing. I make a lot of And Samuel 17. Reading from the first verse. Now the Philistines gathered together their um, armies to battle and were gathered together at Shahak. And one can you go? <laughs> Which belonged to Judah and pitched between Shahak. No, I want you to and listen to this as she read it, because she will stop. At a certain point, she will stop. And I will explain something to you. Go ahead, please. Which belonged to Judah and pitched between Shahak and Azekah and Ephes Dami. Dam, Dam, man. Anuan, anuan. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. And if Saul, you can't pronounce anything, say amen. Then you continue. Yes. And Saul and the men of Israel were gathered together and pitched by the valley of Elah and set to the battle in Arai against the Philistines. And the Philistines stood on a mountain on the one side, and the Israel stood on a mountain on the other side. Yes. And there was a valley between them. And there went out a champion out of the camp of the Philistines, named Goliath of Gath, whose height was six cubits and a span. And he had a helmet of brass upon his head, and he was armed with a coat of the Amen. mail. Amen. Amen. Listen. Listen, now I need everybody's attention. Because like I said before, when you understand this message, you will not worry about physical things anymore. Amen. Every battle that you go through, you won't worry anymore. Amen. In everything we do in life, there is a physical side and there's what? The spiritual side. But this morning, I want to break certain things down to you. For you to know that the supernatural always overcome the natural so the things you see in the natural you can overcome them if the supernatural that is in you is stronger than the natural if you cannot overcome them it means that some way somehow your spiritual side is going down everyone is entitled to cry including me Amen. Because everyone has that spirit in there that when something happens to you, it will break you down. It is normal. When you look in, when, that's why I listen. When the postman comes here, I tell him, don't come here anymore. Because I don't know why anytime you come here and I'm here, it's only bills. So please, give my bills to the, the guy in the next door. 
Don't stop here anymore. Amen, somebody. Amen. I need you to understand that Bible said there was a battle. As a child of God, no matter what you do, there will always be a battle. Like I told you the other day, anytime you open your mouth to speak, you are in the court of what? Law. Anytime you open your mouth to speak, you are standing in the court of law. So the things you say, it will either bless you or it will come back and hunt you. Amen. I said anytime, so those of you who like to, um, uh, uh, you have to be very careful. Amen. Because there are certain things when you say them now, in the natural, the devil, listen, listen, Bible said we are blessed and we can never be cursed. So the devil will deploy you yourself to say things and when you say it, he will hold it. Then he will save it. And the day that something could need to happen to you, he will bring that thing that you said against you. Amen. Amen. That is why when you ask me, Bishop, how are you doing? I say, I am blessed and highly favored. I, I don't ever say bad things to myself. I would never say that. Because once I say it, you will pay for it. Amen, somebody. Once you say it, you are going to pay it. When you say, I will finish college, you will finish college. Because once you say, I will finish, the word is, I will finish. When the devil come around, the only word he sees, I will finish. He cannot use it against you. Because it is the word that came out of you. But when you say, all my classes, I will get F. I will fire you from this church. You can't come here anymore. There was a battle, and within the battle, David showed up. Let's go to eight and nine. Read eight and nine. I soak this word within my spirit because this word came from the truth. I say, God, I need you to give me a word that it will surpass the, the physical so that I can walk on earth like Superman. Have you seen Superman being afraid before? Superman is never afraid. Please read on. 8 and 9. And he stood and cried unto the armies of Israel and said unto them, Let's go down. Huh. Why are ye come out to set your battle in array? Am I not a Philistine? And ye servants to Saul? No, so, so watch this. And I'll explain this. Bible said, when Goliath came out, he said, You have come to me for a battle. He said, I'm a, I'm a servant of the Philistines and are you not a servant of what? Of Saul. Listen, whatever battle you go through, the battle is not a physical battle. It's a spiritual battle. As a child of God. But before David showed up, Goliath said, you are servant. I am a, I'm a Philistine and you are a servant of who? of Saul. You see, before David showed up, Goliath, the battle to him was a physical battle. But when David showed up, he changed the battle to a spiritual battle. Are you here with me? I want you to understand that every battle that you are going through, if you don't change it to a spiritual battle, the devil will manipulate you. That is why he said, I'm a Philistine. And you are a servant of who? So, let's read on. You understand what? Read the night. Choose you, um, if he be able to fight with me and to kill me. Go back to eight again, please. Sorry. And eight he stood nine. and cried unto uh -huh. the armies of Israel and said unto them, Why are ye come out to set your battle in array? Am I not a Philistine and ye servants to Saul? Choose you a man. For you and let him come down to me uh -huh. if he be able to fight with me and to kill me then will be your servants but i prevail against him and kill him 
Then shall ye be our servants and servers. Amen. Amen. Any battle you are going through, if you are able to overcome the enemy, that demon serve you. Every battle we go through, me and you, as children of God, when you take it as a physical battle, you will lose. Whatever come into my life, I take it spiritually. Because the spiritual controls the physical. So let me give you an example. You go to work and someone is giving you a hard time for no reason. Somebody is pushing that person. Amen. So when you go to work and you see them, you have to look at them. And you say, hello. You look at them very, very well. And you say hello to them. But when you come home, you say, in the name of Jesus, whoever is pushing you to torment me, I deal with that person in the mighty name of the man who died and rose from the dead. May the God of the king's house deal with you. It means that you are dealing with them in the supernatural. As a child of God, your battle is a supernatural battle. It's not a physical battle. So when you talk too much, you are in a court of law. And it will come. Because look, look at what Goliath did. Goliath said, choose somebody. Because you serve Saul. Eh? So choose someone. Read the 10. Read the 10. Look at, listen to her. And the Philistine said, I defy the armies of the Israel this day. Give me a man that we may fight together. And, Go ahead. and when Saul and all Israel heard those words of the Philistine, they were dismayed and greatly afraid. Go to 36. Somebody go to 36. I want you to know what happened. Thy servant slew both the lion and the bear, and the uncircumcised Philistine shall be as one of them, seeing he had defied the armies of the living God. So, no, so look, at, look at what happened. Immediately David came around. David said, you, you have defiled the God of who? No, he said, you have defiled the God of who? So now, you see what David did? Saul was fighting a physical battle. Amen. Saul was fighting a natural battle. But when David came, David changed the battle from physical to spiritual. Because now when David came, David said, you have defiled the God of the Israelites. So now may the God of the Israelites deal with you. You see what David did? Because David knew that he cannot fight Goliath physically. He's too small. He was a kid. He was a child. He has no strength. Bible said Goliath was strained from his youth. So when you when you see Goliath with David, now David knew that I can't fight this one. So he David went to another gear and he said, You have defiled the God of the Israelites. Once David said that. He released an, a power from heaven. He activated the power to come upon him. So now, De Goliath is seeing David as a kid. But David is seeing Goliath as a kid. Because the power of God has come upon him. Now he carries authority now. Because he has shifted the battle into a, a spiritual battle. No matter what you are going through. This morning I prophesy upon your life. That may every battle that you are going through. Everything I'm Cooper, may it be switched to a spiritual Amen. battle. That you will overcome the enemy. Amen. Oh if you are here. Ah, I say may every battle that you are Amen. going through. May it be shifted. Yes. I say may the battle be shifted. Amen. Everything into a spiritual battle. Amen. And the enemy will see you. And he will not see you. But he will see Jesus. Amen. Read on. 
And you shall read them. David said, Moreover, the Lord that delivered me out of the paw of the lion and out of the paw of the bear, he will deliver me out of the hand of the Philistine. And Saul said unto David, Go, and the Lord will be with thee. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. And so armed David with his armor, and he put an, um, an helmet of brass upon his head. Also he armed um, him with a coat of mail. And David girded his sword upon his armor, and he essayed to go, for he had not to prove it. And David said unto Saul, Go to 43. And the Philistine said unto David, Am I a dog? And thou comest to me with staves? And the Philistine cursed David by his gods. No, listen, listen. Listen to what happened. You see the reason why if you are a child of God and you are going through something, you cannot fight physically. And listen, ever since God gave me this knowledge, I don't worry anymore. When I go through problem, I, sometimes I will write the problem down. And I say, God, this is the problem I'm going through. I change this problem into a spiritual problem. Then I begin to pray. Now, I'm not fighting you physically anymore. I'm fighting you spiritually because look at what uh, Goliath did. Bible said when he came, he cursed David with his God. It means that now, you see, David turned the battle spiritually. So now Goliath has no choice. If it was a physical battle, he would step on the guy and the guy would die. Now he changed it to, he said, he cursed David with David God. Goliath has no idea what he has done. He said, am I a what? Hey, read on. He said, am I a what? Am I a dog? Uh -huh. uh, that thou comest to me with staves, mm -hmm. and the Philistine cursed David by his God. He said, the Philistines cursed David by his own God. So now, the, the what? The battle has changed from a physical battle to a supernatural battle. You see, all the all the Israelites they saw it as a battle, but David saw it as an advantage for God to come and prove Himself. What do you go through, and how do you see? Anything you go through or anything you are going through is for God to come and prove himself in your life. I said any problem, any battle that you are fighting, it is good for you to call on your God. You say, God, this one, let me see your power. Amen. Amen. I said, David saw a man. Oh, all the Israelites, they saw a man. A very big man standing there. But David came. And he said, this is advantage for God. If you are God, come and prove yourself. How do you see what you go through? Or whatever you are going through now how do you see it do you see it as a problem all the time i need you to understand that i am tired of being a child of god and not seeing no miracle in my life if we are serving god then god need to prove himself if we claim we serve a living god then God need to come and do something. I need you to understand that every problem that you are going through, it is a good time to use it and say, God, I have been there. It is time for you to prove yourself. Are you understanding me? It is not every problem that you need to eat yourself up with. Sometimes we eat ourselves up with every problem we go through. But some of them, God need to come and prove himself. Do you call on God? Or do you cry? The crying is good. The crying is good. After crying, what do you do? 
you have to change your battles into the supernatural battle until you change this as a child of God the problem won't go away and that is the understanding I got from studying this word and ever since I understood this word I don't worry anymore when I have a problem all I have to do is come home shift the gear I say God this is the problem sometimes I wish I could use some examples but it would be the right time and the wrong example are you understanding me but I need to encourage you that no matter what you go through if you don't go through anything you are not a child of God if you want to you all the time you want your life to be honey 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 it will get to a time when it turns to honey you will have honey problem amen as a child of God there had to be a time if God see that he cannot get you he will leave you to go through something or he will send it to you himself because he can't find you you don't know God can give you problem the Bible said he said I am a jealous God so if he cannot find you because now there is over time so you, you you are like they say over time Sunday over time say please write my name Pastor George can wait it will come to a time when when over time comes Sunday you get sick and you can't go and if God found out that he can't get you he will take the OT from your job you can worship God any way you want to worship God you can do whatever you want to do but when it comes to Sunday don't take it away from God listen you can do whatever you want to do but when it comes to God's day do not take it away from him don't ever do that because one of these days you will need him maybe you will call me and I won't pick up my phone because me and my wife we are chilling I won't be there maybe we are watching Nigerian movies or something you, you never know I will answer my phone amen what are you going to do and you will say to yourself I hate Pastor Josh I am chilling you can't hate me for chilling you can, you can hate somebody for chilling that is a wrong uh, hit. Amen. Amen. Lean on God. Let's read the last one. 43 to 48. Listen to what happened. And the Philistine said unto David, Am I a dog? And thou comest to me with staves. And the Philistine cursed David by his gods. And the Philistine said to David, Come to me, and I'll give thy flesh unto the fowls of the air, uh -huh. and to the beasts of the field. Yes. Then said David to the Philistine, Thou comest to me with a sword, and with a spear, and with a shield, and I come to thee in the name of the Lord of hosts. So, so listen, you see, you, you know what God, you, uh, you know what David did? Watch this, watch this. The three of you come. Oliver, come. Come. Uh, as a has come. You will be God today. You are God. And it's in a camp. Please stand here with them. Stand here, you are God. Yeah, I like the way you fold your hands. You are God. No, so watch this. Now, when they say the, the God of hosts, eh? listen to this. You know what David did? Now, David knew within himself that number one, he cannot battle with Goliath. He know it. So he said, like, eh, no, let me give you an example. Like you come home from work and someone comes to your house and they mess it up. Amen. You think your father will come and be laughing? When your father comes, you're going to be mad. So David knew that he cannot kill Goliath. So before he even said something, he said, you, you have defiled the God of what? Israel. So number one, before he said anything to David, he changed the battle already. 
now david who did not know the god of israel he said i curse you with your god because the god he cursed him with it with a small g so it tells me within my spirit that goliath did not know the god of the israel so now when david had a chance he said you i do not come alone the god that i serve oh maybe you don't you don't remember do you know what he did to the egyptians maybe you don't know the god i'm talking about the god that i serve which you have defiled he's a god that can turn the sun against you i said ah the god that i serve because listen david said the god and the host so now david knew that he cannot battle this guy by himself so he started to deploy all the powers that god has he said my god he can turn the rain against you he can oh i'm writing and cooper so he said i am coming upon you with my god and his host it means that god is not coming by himself he is the commander in chief in heaven but if he's coming here he can turn the devil himself against you he said i am coming with the archangels of this, this house i am coming with the fbi in heaven i am coming with the cia in heaven oh you goliath you don't know what you have done i rabin and Cooper, i deploy uh, oh, all the intelligence all the supernatural computers in heaven i deploy them against you he said i am coming he said i am coming with the god but i don't want him to come by himself he said the god of hosts it means that david he deployed the whole heaven against goliath this morning i prophesy in your life that anyone who is tormenting your life i said anyone who have been assigned to torment you I deploy by the power given to me by God I deploy the host of heaven against uh, listen put your hand on your belly for me put your hand on your belly for me say in the name of Jesus oh I can't hear you say in the name of Jesus say anyone anyone, anyone. against me Against me. Against me. Against me. Say in the name of Jesus. I deploy. I deploy. The host of heaven. The host of heaven. On my side. On my side. Anyone. Anyone. Who is against me? Who is against me? Say anyone. Anyone. Who is blocking my progress? Who is blocking my progress? Say anyone. Anyone. Who is holding me? Who is holding me? Say anyone. Anyone. Who have been assigned? Who has been assigned? Against me. Against me. Say this morning. This morning. I deploy. I deploy. The host of heaven. The host of heaven. Against him. Against him. Against him. Against him. Against him. Against him. By force. By force. By fire. By fire. Please be seated. Eradian Cooper. So now, if things are not going the way I want them, all I have to do is to come here. I wish everybody would come here on their day off and pray. It's better than staying at home. I will grab one chair and I'll put it here. Bring me one chair. Bring me another one. watch this i give you what i do okay put another one here for me also another check i'll finish now that's the last one no if i go to problem eh, i will come here and i will sit and i say problem sit over here you can't sit on the right you sit on the left i say god Please, I need you to sit here. I said, God, you see this problem? It's giving me too much, too much problem. That is why I want you to see him. 
so that if I start to beat him up you know and I will say I say I give you time you can talk to him and I will say if you are dying please let me know and I will sit there I'm still waiting I'm still waiting I'm here I'm still waiting you are done good good please you can go problem I deploy the host of heaven against you by the power given to me by God I release the fire of God upon you from today you listen to every word that I say because you have a name and you can hear you see when I finish talking to him like that then I stand because now I want it and he cannot stand when he tried to start say you sit down I'm in control now God left I'm in charge you, you feel me then I start my high level tongues you will go down Oh, I say when I start you will go down and everything I release is fire because they say without smoke there is no one I say everything I release is fire and before I ask the problem to go and don't come back no more I say I seal you with the stamp of the living God you can't come back anymore live now and I fix my suit and I go home May God add his blessings to this mercy. Amen.